I'm a dad, and here are my thoughts on why I stopped working out every day. After 57 days of working out every single day, I realized that my challenge that I gave to myself wasn't actually what I wanted to do. Yes, it got me more in shape. I started to get more jacked, more fit, but I started to stress out, especially when I had to get my workout in at 2 a.m., 1 a.m. after I was working. There are a lot of things that happened and a lot of excuses as to why I could not complete this challenge more than 57 days. But the main thing was I wasn't having fun anymore and it was becoming a chore more than anything. If you're a parent, you probably remember what it was like to be a new parent. You started to realize you had a lot more chores coming into life. And you also started to realize that you started to lose control of your life. That's how I felt. So I felt like I needed to get back control. And the only way I knew how to get back control was to work out. So the challenge that I put on myself was to bring back control, but I started to lose control. And as I said, create more stress in my life. You see, the challenge wasn't hard. It was just get a workout in every day. Maybe 15 minutes, may it be an hour. But the days I would get in 15 minutes, I didn't feel satisfied. I felt like I was cheating myself. I felt like I was wasting my time. And at the same time, when I worked out for an hour, I felt like I was wasting my time and not even spending enough time with my son and my wife, which is the new life I'm starting to begin. I love working out, but when I started working out every single day, I stopped loving it because there are new things that I love in my life. I love spending time with my family. I love doing activities with them. And don't get me wrong, I still love working out but I don't love it to the degree that I used to love it because I don't need to use it for what I used to use it for. I used to love working out because it was a lot of fun to compete against other people and then try to be better than the person next to me, which don't get me wrong, I still love to do, but as a parent, I've realized that everyone's going through their own things. And yes, maybe the person next to me isn't lifting as much, but I don't know if they're working two jobs, have six kids and they're struggling to pay bills, or if they're a millionaire that has all the time in the world to work out because they're delegating so much. No matter what, it started to click in my head that I don't need to compare myself to people anymore. Now yes, I want to look amazing, I want to be as fit as possible, but that definition is different for everybody. That definition to me, currently in my life, is about being able to protect my son, protect my family, be able to run miles, be able to lift but not be able to run the fastest mile in the world or to lift the most weight or to be able to beat up anybody in the world, I realized that my priorities have changed and that being the fittest is a different thing than what I thought it was when I started the challenge. So when I got to about day 40, I really started to hate it. Going up to day 40, I loved it. I was like, this is a blast. I'm feeling the best I've ever felt. I'm crushing it. I feel amazing. I'm the fittest ever. I look amazing. But when day 40 came around, life started to get more difficult. My son got sick. I started to lose sleep just so I could work out. And I started to realize that I was putting fitness ahead of everything else in my life when that's not my priority anymore. So once it got to about day 50, I really started to click in my head, is this worth it? Is it truly worth what I'm doing? So I gave it another week. And at the end of the week, I truly realized, you know what? I know how to be as fit as I want. And that is making sure I work out making sure I don't fall off the wagon, but that doesn't mean I need to work out every single day. And that goes with everything in life. I mean, you probably have something you love doing and you wanna be the best at, but if you do it every single day, every single moment, you're gonna burn out. There's a clip of Dro Rogan even saying, when you do the things that you want to do and you are hustling, wait, let's just clip that in. Do what you do, but yeah. keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, that yeah. you have to work that hard. Yeah. Just do it to your level of enjoyment. Like right. there's a balancing act. If you become so obsessed, you spend all your time doing it, and then you become this miserable person who's really successful, that's not a success True. because you're unhappy. True. So there's like a balance. Like yeah. how much effort do you want to put in versus how much do you want to get out of it? Right. And you got to right. figure out what that is to keep you normal. Yeah. I truly realize what fitness truly means to me now. It doesn't mean that I need to do it every single day. It just means that I need to stay on it. I need to make sure that I'm able to go and work out to be able to walk miles upon miles without being tired, run, to play with my son, to be able to go chase after my cats. It doesn't mean that I need to do it every single day. And it's probably the same with something you want to do in life as well. Do we need to be doing these things every single day or do we just need to be doing them on a consistent basis? So seriously, ask yourself, 
Are you doing what you love on a consistent basis or are you constantly trying to do it every single day and burning out and letting yourself down? Also, I only recorded this video because I wanted to give an update to it. I know I made a lot of shorts about this and I spent a lot of time making videos. That also stressed me out. I wanna thank you all for subscribing to the channel, being a part of the community, and I just looked at our email list. We have over 750 of y'all subscribed to our email that I have not sent out an email on yet, but stay tuned. Stay tuned, I promise you. We will have some good content coming to you guys out, which will be more in depth and more personal about my journey and Marco's journey. So if you wanna get a little more personal with us, sign up for the email list. It probably says something about a challenge on most of our descriptions. That challenge is not a thing. It's all about the email list of us getting more personal with you and sharing some in-depth stories and insights of what we've learned in life. I ain't a millionaire, I ain't got a yacht, I ain't got a Lambo, but I got a mentor and I got a life to live. So yeah, <laughs> we're free mentors if you wanna follow us. Shit, where are my cats?